Welcome back. So before we can get into solving differential equations for realistic physical problems, we need to look into classifying differential equations. Okay, so the classification of differential equations is very important because the solution method that we employ depends on the class of differential equation that we have to solve. So in this course, we are only interested in ordinary differential equations. So what is an ordinary differential equation? An ordinary differential equation, or an ODE, is one where or only ordinary de derivatives with respect to a single independent variable are present. That is, there are no partial derivatives present in the equation. Okay, so an ordinary derivative is just something like dx or dy by dt or dt by dx or something like that. Whereas a partial derivative is one where, you know, let's say the temperature is a function of position in the x direction, in the y direction, and maybe also with respect to time. And we're just taking the derivative with respect to, um, let's say, in the y direction. So this is what we call a partial derivative. But this is not what we are looking at in our study of ordinary differential equations. So this equation here is actually an ordinary differential equation. So the above has a single independent variable, and that independent variable is x, and a single dependent variable, and the dependent variable is y. Okay, so this is, x is the independent variable, and y is the dependent variable. As the name suggests, y depends on x. And the term y prime denotes differentiation. So differentiation with respect to the independent variable. So y prime, it means dy by dx. And y triple prime denotes the third derivative of y with respect to x. So this is a typical ordinary differential equation. So as mentioned, we cannot get into our different solution methods for differential equations before we know how to classify them. So there's a few important um, classification methods that we need to know. And they are listed here. So the first one is the order of the differential equation. The second is the linearity. The third is the hom homogeneity. And the fourth one is whether the differential equation has constant or variable coefficients. So let's go into each set of classifications. So the order of the equation is the order of the highest derivative present. Okay, so it is the order of highest derivative in the ODE. So in the above, it is what we would call a third order ODE. And the reason for that is that we have this y triple prime term. So that's the third derivative. There are no fourth order or higher derivatives. There is a first derivative present, but it is not the highest derivative in the differential equation. So that first deriv derivative does not dictate the order of the differential equation. One of the most important aspects of classification is identifying whether a differential equation is linear or nonlinear. 
because oftentimes the solution methods are different. So a differential equation is linear if the dependent variable and all of its derivatives are of the first degree, and their coefficients depend on the independent variable only. Okay, so a linear ODE does not have terms like the following. So we don't see anything like powers of the dependent variables or its derivatives. So we're not going to see a y cubed, y squared, or maybe a dy by dt and taking that to any power. So let's say the second power. Okay, so the dependent variable and all its derivatives are of the first degree. We also don't see any products of the dependent variable and its derivative. So a linear ODE, you will not see anything like y multiplied by y prime or something like y squared multiplied by y triple prime. So these are not allowed. If you see something like that, then you're dealing with what we would call a nonlinear ODE. And finally, a linear ODE does not have terms uh, that involve nonlinear functions of the dependent variable. So things like the sine of y or e to the power of y are all nonlinear terms of the dependent variable. And that's that would result in a nonlinear differential equation. Note that everything I've said so far has to do with the dependent variable. A linear differential equation may contain um, the following. So for example, you can have things like x squared or cosine of x. That is totally fine because these are nonlinear functions but of the independent variable. You can also have products of the dependent variable or its derivatives and functions of an independent variable that may be nonlinear. So things like x to the power of 3 multiplied by y or something like e to the negative 2x multiplied by y prime, that is fine. That would still result in a linear differential equation. Okay, so let's just make that very clear. So these terms here would result in a nonlinear ODE, and these ones here would result in a linear ODE. And so what I've included here is in the most general form of a linear differential equation of order n. So we see that over here, this term here, y, and then we have this little bracket n here, that is the derivative of y, and that is the nth derivative of y. And as we see here, the next term in the equation is y, and the derivative, the n minus, minus 1 derivative of y, multiplied by a function of x. And that function of x can be anything. Again, it is not a function of y. So it is not nonlinear, it is linear, and it can take any of the forms that we have over here. Then the last term on the left-hand side of our general form of a linear ODE is this fn of x multiplied by y. So we see that this is y, not y prime. And then on the right-hand side, 
in this general form, we place any remaining terms that are not products of uh, y or the derivative of y, or whatever dependent variable we might be dealing with. And we, we call this r of x. Okay, so looking at this general form, we go into our next classification of differential equations, and that is homogeneity. So an ODE is homogeneous if Rx is equal to zero. And as you can imagine, it is non-homogeneous if r of x is not equal to zero. And again, homogeneity will dictate how we will solve a given differential equation. Finally, ODEs are also classified by the nature of the coefficients of the dependent variable. A differential equation is said to have constant coefficients if all of the coefficients of the terms involving the dependent variable are constants. So things like, uh, you know, we could have 2 multiplied by dy by dx, or we could have something just like c multiplied by d squared y by dt squared. These are all constant coefficients. And then variable coefficients would be something like x multiplied by dy by dx. Or something like sine of t multiplied by, um, we can call this uh, dt, and note that this is capital T, so we could be talking about temperature with respect to time. So these are what we call variable coefficients.